Uh, Coach, thanks so much for joining us on the call today. If you take a minute to tie up the game against Navy, and what you expect to see as you uh, head to uh, New Orleans to face Tulane on Saturday, please. Yeah, I thought it was a tough fought game. Uh, you know, I think Ken and his staff and their team, they do a great job. They make you play disciplined football. Um, I thought, uh, you know, we had our chances in that game. We didn't capitalize on them. Uh, but, uh, again, give all the credit to Navy. Good, good, solid team that that makes you play everything. So, uh, that being said, going down to uh, Tulane, you know, Willie's done a great job there. Uh, got them playing extremely hard. Uh, they're really uh, executing well offensively. Um, you know, defensively, very aggressive in what they do. They're always tough. Uh, they're flying to the football and, and getting after it. So we know we got our hands full. We've got to uh, get on the right track and uh, get back on the winning track and continue to keep working and growing. We'll take questions for Coach Philip Montgomery. Please star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue. Then the operator will introduce you. We'll go next to Dan Zatora with WakeUpCallDT.com. Good morning, Coach. How are you today? I'm good, Dan. How are you? Good. <clears throat> to take a look at the, the losses this season outside Oklahoma State, the last three, how close these games were, and, and you know the loss to New Mexico by three, the loss to Toledo by three, and the Navy most recently by a couple scores. Just what you can say about bridging the gap and your message to the team moving forward about finding those few plays and, and those instances that maybe didn't fall your way recently, what you're trying to do moving forward in your game plan. Yeah, I think the number one thing is you, you got to stay positive about what you're doing and about the direction you're going. you got to stay tight as a family and and uh, keep them all going down the same road. Uh, I think our team's doing that. I think we're, we're fighting for 60 minutes. Uh, you're right in the sense that there's there's a play or two or three uh, that are pivotal in a game that that you just got to make and and that's where us as a as a very young football team we've got to get to and so uh, those guys are working extremely hard we had a great week of work last week I thought uh, really came out of the gates and played well early we just got to finish that way and so uh, I think we're on the right track we just got to uh, find those few plays in there and, and make them to to be that deciding factor in a game. And then as far as uh, the versatility of Chad President so far for you this season, just what you can say about uh, his efforts most recently on the ground as well as through the air, and, and despite the loss to Navy, what you're taking from him moving forward? Well, I think he's growing every game. He's seen a lot of different looks, and, uh, you know, he's he's making some plays for us. I mean, he had a, had a really big first half, uh, especially in some in some things that we did. So, uh, I think he's making the proper steps. He's got to continue to keep growing and developing. Uh, it's not just him. You know, all of us around him have to do the same thing. And like I said, we're we're playing some young guys that have that have got to uh, grow up in a hurry and and grow around him and you know take some pressure off him to uh, allow him to continue the to uh, proceed and, and mature as a quarterback. Thanks, coach. I appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. We'll go next to Ronnie Woodward from the Greenville Daily Reflector. Hey, Coach, just uh, coming off the Navy game, um, you touched on it a little bit earlier, but at, at, at Navy's undefeated, and what does it just say about their consistency? It seems like each year they're kind of in this point of the season and playing really well. Does that just kind of speak to the program they have a little bit? Yeah, I, I think it does. I think it speaks to Ken and his staff. They've been together a long time. I think Ken's been there about 20 years or something like that, 10 or 11 as the head coach. Uh, you know, they've been able to recruit and develop and, and build depth uh, that a lot of us haven't haven't got a chance to do yet. So uh, my hat's off to them. What they do uh, schematically on both sides of the football, uh, they put their guys in the right spots. They play extremely hard. And you've got to defend it well. Uh, they're going to eat that clock, and and they're going to make you. Uh, they know all the adjustments you've got to make, or they're going to make according to what you do. So uh, they do a great job at it. And you know, when you're running that style of offense, generally speaking, you're not averaging 35 points a game like they are, and and that just goes to how well they do it. Okay, thanks, Coach. Mm-hmm. Any other questions for Coach Montgomery? Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. Coach, we appreciate your time this week. Look forward to hearing from you again next Monday. Thanks.